nice Sunday afternoon. It's gotten real super hot, you know? Out in the sticks. Check it out. I'm not recording this ride today. Which brings me on to the topic of this video. Because people have mentioned it to me about training and surely when I'm riding I'm training no I'm just riding all right I've mentioned before like if, if you're into racing and you're doing time trials and things and you know then yeah surely you you're training or you need to be training I'm just a fitness rider all right purely all my rides or times I get on segments which don't even really bother me too much apart from a couple I've got some uh, some demons with for personal records it doesn't really mean anything to me I'm only on social media and only on Strava to show people what I'm doing with versus like what I'm eating being vegan you know again that's how all the other people that I follow on there inspire me you know so if I was to say I was training, I wouldn't be because basically what I do is just, I just ride. You could call it, it's not junk riding if you know what I mean. Like, you can compare that to like someone who says they're training, but really they're just, they're just junk riding, you know. It's, training needs to be structured and it involves like gym work and, you know, off the bike, off the bike stuff, activities, you know, and obviously getting your diet right. And getting your sleep right there's a lot to it you know it needs to be structured if you've got a goal of like say riding the tall divide or the ram or doing some iron man or a year's worth of triathlons or something then you're gonna need to be looking depends where you're at how long you've been doing that activity for you know you need to be looking a good like year ahead to be realistic i mean yeah you could like do so many events in the in the first year or something and use that as a base to base like to put your strategies for like the training plan for the next year or something you know i kind of know i got a good idea of what to do to get the fitness level up. i've done it before but it does take time it takes commitment and dedication you know and to go out on the bike and put in that much time for what unless unless you've got goals or you're racing and there's stuff set in concrete that you want to do what's the point to say you're training all the time you know because i do follow people on strava who they use zwift or whatever there's a couple of guys who like smash anybody around here they are good riders you know but a lot of other people who say they're training and then you see some of the it's like seconds or they haven't even beat your time on certain segments or whatever on a on a, a loop or whatever and you think like you should have like you should have smashed me like you know and also you can learn a lot from people's times that they've gone out and they've just like caned one segment and then they've like blown themselves up for the rest of the ride you know but there are some people i follow who are pretty consistent it's like i'm pretty humble man i'm just like me you know i'm just like i don't think i'm something i'm not Like stopping now, like I don't even have to be making a video. I just thought I'd stop anyway and just take some time out, you know. Seasons are good, man. It's like it won't always be like this, you know. Obviously, it get warmer, then it get colder, then it get darker, then it get wetter. But just to feel the warmth on your face and to be away from noise, apart from the sheep bleating, is really nice. Solitude and peace, peacefulness, you know give it a go you realize like when you it's not until you stop and it really does need to be on your own really because you control the noise you know versus someone breaking that that piece by just talking and also that someone could be called your drive chain that makes hell of a noise you realize when you stop when you're somewhere super quiet can you hear those sheep and the lambs
Should have animal crossings everywhere, shouldn't they? What would my ideal world be? This could turn into a really long video. But from what I'm looking at now, fields with a load of hedges and stuff. You could have like you could have amazing cycle routes, you know? Amazing cycle routes, places to walk, places to stop and camp. Rather than all this farming and agriculture around you. You could have like more cycle paths and that going through areas like this, you know. Cars can have their roads and then we we got our own. Ideally that's how it would be, you know. If you, if there's anyone been to like places where they've had really nice bike paths, like the best I've ever rode on were, were up in the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. Like bicycle super highways, you know, connecting all the ski resorts and stuff. country's so behind isn't it compared to to other countries i think we're like stuck back in like i don't know where could we where could we pinpoint a point in time 1980 or something you get rid of all the technology and everything put that aside you can actually see like where we are society society's taken a huge step backwards it's funny it's a funny like it's a funny atmosphere, isn't it? It's a funny feeling on the road, too. It is a funny feeling. I just don't know. But by riding a bike and expelling, you know, all your energy, most of the problems go away. And it's a good feeling. That's one of the other reasons why I keep riding, you know? It serves a purpose like that. Not that I'm riding away from anything, you know. I'm equally, equally as happy just sat around. Like the outdoors, if that makes sense. Go for a walk and sit down, look at the sky. Sip a cup of coffee, whatever you want to do. Sip a vegan beer. That's the other thing, man. People go on about, like... Like, I haven't drunk since, like, November 2011, right? Not touched a drop. But I like the odd drop of coffee in there. But some people say you shouldn't drink coffee, it's bad. Yet they drink vegan beer, you know. Maybe, like, vegan beer is poison. Some stuff you can see, like, it works and it's pretty right. And other stuff you think, well, okay, I'm going to have my vices. Albeit, keep them in check and be, like, aware of what you are consuming, you know? And maybe, like, try fasting from that for a few months or something if you want to be, but don't be hard on yourself, you know? That's why I, my attitude is towards a vegan diet, you know? It's like I haven't had any of that vegan cheese for like, God, man, like months or something, you know? There's so much vegan trash, and again, so much vegan goodness, you know? I prefer the vegan goodness, but I keep slipping back on the trash here and there, no bother. It's there, so I'm going to do that, versus someone who might say, say, you know, what else do you eat? Well, there's plenty of trash to eat, you know? You don't need to fall back on, like... KFC murder murder sandwiches, you know? There's plenty of alternative options. Not these lambs that are just out chilling. Mothers and babies that'll get ripped apart at some point. God damn it's hot. Might have to take my base layer off actually. See base layers are alright. They are obviously like a wicking layer. But for me personally when it does get so hot when you're riding on the flats out in the boonies it just like raises the temps man it's going to come off I think in a minute bit of action going on over there mummy sheep looking in the ditch I hope like a little lamb isn't in distress or perhaps they'd all be gathered round you know You see it now and again though, cow in the ditch, or sheep. Death by thirst. Anyway, just want to share that, out and about, chit chatter. People on Strava, you can't beat my times. Do you even train, bro? <laughs>